Nerds Talking, the podcast. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be so much fun, man. I'm gonna get high. Today's episode, I had $10, the director's cut. Welcome to Nerds Talking, the podcast, episode 9. Last time on episode 8, Dennis was talking about Bitcoin. Now he has an update for us. Dennis, tell us a little bit about Bitcoin. Um, nothing much. It's 23,000. All right, Yay. Carlos. Yay. I don't have an update Carlos about Bitcoin. Has still fake update money. Update about Bitcoin. Still fake money. All right. That's fantastic. Here on Nerds Talking the Podcast. Anyway, welcome to Nerds Talking the Podcast. Uh, that's Dennis with his Bitcoin update. It's now up to 23,000. Dollars, I guess. Um, so yeah, fantastic. All right. Um, other than that, um, Carlos says he has a topic f- to start the show. So he tells I me. have a topic. Wow, that's a breaking news right there. Hey, breaking news HBO Max is now on Roku. So if you have a Roku player, now you can actually get yourself some HBO Max and just in time to watch mm-hmm. Wonder Woman on Christmas. That's Wonder right. Woman. And if you're listening to this, uh, you might also have listened to the new Eminem album that came out or did it. We don't again? know. Yet. We don't know. He has a new one again. Yep. And we don't know if uh, it's, uh, is it out? Is it not? I know out? Dennis is getting it because Eminem's one of his top three rappers. Top three. If you remember, right. it's Jay-Z, Eminem and, and Tupac. Tupac. Sh- but he wasn't Ooh. sure about Tupac because he goes, Tupac? Like he was asking us if it was okay for Tupac to be one of his top three. Do you know how old Tupac was when he died? I'm going to say 33. No, I was questioning because I'm not sure if he would be on my top. I was just Um, beating. Not 33. He was 26. Really? Yeah. And he died in 1996. So he would be 50 years old. Wow. It's that not confirmed cool. though. I think it's just a rumor, right? Rumor of what? Him dying? Dead? The him um dropping an album. Oh. You're talking about Eminem. Eminem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh it's not that. It's just uh two of his producers that actually worked on this new album said that it's coming out. So that's pretty much where the mm-hmm. how it started. So there's your Eminem news. Um news. new album could it's be out today. But could not be out. It could be a sneak you attack. Know? Like, uh, which one was a sneak attack? What His last Kamik- two albums are both sneak Kamikaze? attacks. Kamikaze? Oh, Kamikaze they? and Music to be Murdered by. Yeah, well, <laughs> Kamikaze was really a sneak attack. Like, whoa. No, they both were. Really? I thought Music to Die by to get murdered by was planned. No, no. I had no promo, nothing. Oh, really? Just dropped on our laps. Maybe he should have done that with recovery. Drops on our laps. <laughs> Drops on our recovery. Because it sucked. You're thinking of the wrong album. No. You're thinking of Revival. That Is it Revival? Yes. Horrible. Yes. Revival was horrible. Yeah. As a big fan of Mr. Marshall Mathers, right. that was horrible. But he does have an album called Recovery, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. That one had a lot of radio hits. Yeah. Okay. Had that song with Rihanna. Going a monster. Uh, yeah. I can't sing it because of copyright, so we don't want to sing it. Uh, we just... It's kind of make up own version. It's been flying. Monster, 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 monster. Yeah, that's the one we're going to do. So I hope you guys enjoy that. So here's some, um, here we go. Let's just start, start going, start rolling, start rolling, rock and rolling here. Um, quick update on the Zack Snyder movie of the Justice League for HBO Max comes out in March. March. Yeah. Four parts. It's going to be in four parts. And, and Batman drops an F-bomb. Supposedly baby. rated R. Yeah. Yeah. Rated R and um, interesting. I mean, Batman drops an F bomb. I wonder what part of the movie that will be. I Maybe when he takes off his suit and he's in pain, you know, when Wonder Woman walked in on him, he's like, ah. But is that still in the movie? Because that was a weed and thing. So I don't know. That's true. I wonder if it'll be rated R because they're bringing back the original Steppenwolf death. Maybe they're going to lop his head off. Could be, you know, what part it could be when Superman kicks all their asses. Oh, probably. Could be that. Um, it could be when the credits roll and then you see Ben Affleck take his costume off and he, he saw the movie also and his reaction is also F. Uh, God damn, uh, I made this one now too. That's two bad ones in a row. Can we do a Zack Snyder too? 
cut. Let's do the second cut, 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 <laughs> cut, <laughs> cut. Director's cut, cut. We're doing a director's cut of all the podcast episodes. Yeah. It's just me farting in the background, which happens usually. You guys, you guys don't hear it, but um, if you're listening Maybe to this on boom mic, that. Well, no, um, what you don't know is if you were listening to us on any podcast app, scratch and sniff. So go ahead and scratch your phone, give it a sniff, and boom, there mm. we go. There we Right, Dennis? Dennis? Dennis, what do you got for me today, Dennis? I'm, I'm just kind of looking at the um, stimulus news, stimulus package that they were. Wow. Oh, yes. The stimulus package is fantastic for all they, people. I thought there was an agreement. No agreement that. yet, but They're good lord, the money that they're gonna pour into it is amazing. Six hundred dollars a person. Mm. But there's a Imagine limit though. That. That's a thing. People are not gonna get as much. But or at least people who are making um above a certain amount of money, they're not gonna get it. Oh, it was crazy. A six hundred dollars yep. is That's absolutely to just a pair of sneakers. Oh, it's crazy. Six hundred dollars. What are you gonna do with six hundred dollars? Exactly. It's a horrible stimulus package. For a large family, it's barely enough for groceries for a month. Oh, it's it's just it's bad. And then and then you know, they're trying to bump it up to twelve hundred and and then some people are coming out. Well, when I say some people, I mean, you know, Rand Paul coming out and saying you can't you shouldn't give money to people that have jobs. They're just getting free money. And I'm like, oh man. How do you know who has jobs at this point? Mm-hmm. Like, come on, man. Well, he still does. He's in government, so he's never going to take a pay cut. He's never going to miss a paycheck. Ah, he's the worst. He's no. the worst. Rand his Paul's hair worst. sucks. His horrible hair. The worst. If you, did you hear what he said about voting in Georgia? Mm, oh, I caught non- a bit vote, of it. Non, people, they shouldn't send ballots to non-voters. What does that even mean? What's a non-voter? He's basically trying to say that if you've never voted before, you shouldn't be allowed to vote this time. Because, you know, they got all the Democrats getting all their mail-in ballots early. They're trying to say, he said that they shouldn't be allowed to vote because they're non-voters. What's a non-voter? A non-voter. Good like, question. What is a non-voter? Someone under the age of 18. No, he's not saying that. He's saying that if you've never voted before ever, you have no, you shouldn't be voting. You don't care. You've never cared before. Why are you voting now? That's what he's trying to say. Yeah, but that's not that, that's not doesn't mean that non-voter there. That, that just means that first-time voters. No, exactly. No, you're right. Exactly. But he's but he's saying just that. What you just said is what he's saying. What you have no business voting. You've never voted before. Why all of a sudden do you care? You're a non-voter. That's what he's trying to say. He's trying to call those people out as as that as just that. I mean, you're not ridiculous. That is. It is ridiculous. 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 Um, yeah. But um, yeah, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But uh, that's your, that's your, well, that's not your only, of course, you know, El Presidente is still trying to win. He's trying to, he's never going to give up. He's trying to win until the end, which the end was like last week, but he's trying anyway. Wait, and le- end was Monday. That's right. The end was and Monday, like, yeah. Electoral votes, but um, yeah, so so crazy. That whole thing is crazy too. That he's how he's still not quitting. And you hear about the CEO of Dominion, the machines, the voting machines. Mm. Oh. He said he's going to sue the Trump administration. Oh, for for slander, for slander and defamation of his company. I definitely would as well. Yeah, he said my machines only do two things: they take in. Take in paper ballots and count paper ballots. They don't do anything else. I give said, the results does... to Venezuela. Well, not even that. Even so, I don't understand. You still have paper ballots. If you're not sure about it, just count those. Yeah, no kidding. Like they did in Georgia like five times. The Dominion's only business is the counting ballots, right? Yep, that's it. How is They're... that tarnishing their, their legacy? I mean, it, they already contracted to do that. What? No They're already designated to be doing the counting of the ballots, right? So why you are correct. Okay, but what is the president change? saying about Dominion machines? It doesn't they're change garbage. the business, though. I He's mean, saying that they're changing votes and that they're frauds and that that's the reason he lost. Right, but it doesn't tarnish the business. It's still 
intact because they still had a contract with the government. No, 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 no. Do you understand what that means? If I was to say things about you that weren't true, Dennis, it's called slander. It's called defamation. Then it ruins know, but your, how is it that, ruins how is your that defamation image. affects their business? It's my question. Because the next election, maybe maybe your Republican ran state doesn't want to use their machines anymore. And there you go because of what the president says. Or any other contract they may have might be void somebody might go like you know what i don't want to use you anymore they're not only here in the united states they're a united states company but the other countries probably use their machines but now they're going to be like oh well we don't trust your machines anymore because that guy said for months that you're a fraud even though he lost but he he said it enough times for me to believe it if if their software sucks then it sucks so i mean there's no defamation there I mean, yeah, there is defamation because they the can't, you cannot prove anything. Does that make sense? There's not one ounce of proof so far of anything that has been said like, honestly, about psst, about the machines. Psst, 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 what is it now? Let's just move on. Let's just move on. But see, no, I want to hear Dennis. Just give me one. Give me your give me the proof you have that you've heard that a judge has thrown out 59 times. And said, you don't have any proof. I'm still confused by this. And even the CEO of Dominion has said, we've checked our machines. We yet to find one problem with our machines. No, I'm not. I'm not saying whether it's true or not. It's just whether it's the questioning is valid, right? It's it is not valid okay because there's no question. proof of the fraud. Therefore, you're causing no, defamation. It. That's not. No, he's you, not no, trying to validate it. He's not it. questioning it. He's throwing it out every day that those machines are fraudulent. They change votes. That's not questioning. That's clearly pointing at someone and going, this is your fault. Your machines did this. That's not questioning machines. That's saying you did this it's and your machines are faulty. It's clearly defamation of character. It's defamation. You cannot do that. You cannot. I can't point at Dennis and to say, oh, Dennis, you know, I heard that you're part of a biker gang and at night you go out and kidnap children. Well, it's, you know, it's not true. But if I keep saying it over and over, you're going to be like, well, He's questioning my biker gang background. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm at a biker gang. I don't know. It, that's what defamation is. That you cannot biker gang? make up stuff when you have no back to nothing to back it up. That's mm. what it is. And that's why they've been tossed out of court 59 times. Are you sure there's nothing that... <laughs> so Boba Fett died today. Wait a second. <laughs> no, let... <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on. That's a good one. I like your answer. Well, I'll be honest. So, I mean, there's sure. got to be some reason. There's also there's there's got to be a reason for their accusations, right? Yeah, they you don't want their like president blind... to lose. That's what the, I. What no, mean? I mean you can't. That's not really. It has to be subject for it. You know. No, I'm sorry. There is not. When you've only when you've lost every case you brought to a judge and the Supreme Court threw you out, literally in five minutes. No, Tell because me what... they didn't want to look at it. That, yeah, because you know, do you know why? That's the problem. No, because there was no evidence. There was nothing. Alpha Davids are not alpha. You know, Alpha Davids aren't evidence, right? Alpha and David. Yeah, Alf, Alf and David. No, that's <laughs> not evidence. That's just somebody telling you. Oh yeah, I think I saw this. Okay, write it down. What's your name? That's not evidence. Mm. Okay, that's not evidence. But there's people who has come forward. That's the, that's the that's, thing. That's what Alf, that's what Alpha Davids are. That's, They're just people well, coming forward. It's it's there's people. It's hearsay. That's not evidence. People it's came forward. That's not That's, evidence. So it's Boba Fett evidence. died today. Boba Fett did die today. So that are you saying so people have come forward? No, so, people. So you, I'm sorry. So I'll, I'll, I'll explain this to you no again. Problem. I'll explain this to you Even one more time. People come. Um, doesn't make sense. Exactly. Oh, you're you're right. Okay, you're good. You're right. It doesn't make sense. No one can just come forward and make things up, and then all of a sudden they have to believe it. You still have to have physical evidence. Does that make sense? Does that part make sense? You need to somehow prove that these machines did that and they're yet to do it. Does that make sense at all? All right, there we go. Venezuela, those damn communists, Hugo Chavez. All right, let's take a break right here. And nerds talking the podcast. We'll be right back after this. And always remember Boba Fett. To that vote. Day. Oh, who? Boba, Boba Fett. Fett. Oh, that's right. Boba Fett did die today. The original actor. Yeah. Correct. Well, yesterday, because you listened to this on Friday. Oh. Um, so you know what I mean. Anyway, we'll be right back after this on Nerds Talking the Podcast. Mm-hmm. 
Welcome back to Nerds Talking the Podcast. We last left you with Polish dicks as we talked about hot dogs being fraudulent. What are hot dogs made out of? Everything? Absolutely all kind of beef? everything. I think they are. Well, it depends. People think they're made out of every like, scraps, but you know, you can get just beef hot dogs and you can get pork and and so forth, right? Sure. You don't even know. You, you don't even know what hot dogs are about. That. You don't even I'm, know the truth. I love truth. myself a good hot dog. So earlier today, I got uh, some um, some Panda Express. You guys all like Panda Express? Had Panda Express myself for dinner. Okay, how about you, Danny? You like Panda Express? No, I haven't had I haven't had it in a while. But, it's good, it's good. but like, you like? Do you like Panda Express? I do. All right. So you get a fortune cookie with Panda Express. You guys know this, mm. right? You get a fortune cookie. Yeah. My fortune cookie was the best. All it said was. Um, attitude is power and use it and i thought wow that's an interesting fortune is that a fortune cookie or an, an advice cookie right and i thought that too like attitude is power and use it like wow that's that's Thanks pretty like the advice yeah that's strong like yeah. okay so then i thought what if all fortune cookies were kind of like that you know what i mean like what if fortune cookies more or less give you advice and didn't oh. necessarily like they they gave you uh but next that, time, like, tell you, yeah. But next tell time your, your significant other says, "Stop giving me attitude." I'm like, "I'm just giving you power." I'm giving you power. No, that's true. You could say that. I'm giving you power. Yeah. I mean, such things. You know, maybe they could give you like law advice. Maybe they could give you um, just different type of things, but not necessarily. I mean, what's a what's a typical fortune cookie? Mm, money is in your future. Right, that's a typical fortune. Cookie, oh, like a right? like a China, Chinese translation, right, or something. Like, sure. Yeah. Revenge is best served cold. That's the best one. That's not a fortune. It's, oh, or like a number, a like a number. Oh, that's right. Your lotto numbers are on the back. Yeah, something. lotto yeah. numbers in the back. And I was writing some down, and I thought these would be better, right? So what if it was something like this? Manslaughter isn't the same as murder, so just go through with it. See, that's the like manslaughter is murder. No, manslaughter is not considered murder. You're you slaughtering get, man. You will not be tried for murder. But you're tried for manslaughter, which is worse than murder. No, it's not. No, it's not. What? Okay? Because manslaughter is not with the intent. Somebody get, if an, this, if this somebody get an attorney cookie, on the phone. How many fortune cookies do you have to buy to connect all these together? Like, the next one tells you what manslaughter is. Manslaughter is not with intent. And that's what manslaughter is. It's when you don't have the intent to kill someone. But you do it oh, anyway. like vehicular manslaughter. You know, ah, see, see. Okay, now so next one is next one is uh, so you fart in bed. I don't see the problem. That's it. That's not, not that a fortune. It's not a fortune. It's just no, it's not. I said I don't want fortunes in my. That's not advice either. Things to hold to me that make me feel. It'd be something like. Well, is it? It could when be you advice. Fart, blame the cat. That's advice. That's good advice. When you fart, that, blame ooh, the dog. that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, yep. Yeah. Or when you fart, blame the cat. Where's the cat? You just ate the cat. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> that's kind of a racist joke. Right. Uh, remember. Okay, this is a good one. Easy money maker. Foster kids to collect welfare. More kids, the more money. See. Boom. Right there. So, so how much? How much do you usually get if you do a foster care? Do, do you know? <laughs> it's a good question. I don't even know. Question. I think you get like five hundred dollars a kid or something like that. I thought it was I'm, I'm just like twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Somebody look this yeah. up. Somebody giggle this. Google giggle. It, Who's Dennis. gonna giggle this? See the who, screen who? reflecting in your face. Dennis is giggling it. Dennis giggle it. He's giggling it. Um, the next one would say COVID. You just ate it, right there. That's a good one there. Uh, Carlos, mm. did you write any down? Yeah, I only needed one. What was that? When masturbating, use your non-dominant hand. Feels like a stranger. Okay, it says here, That's foster a good one. care rates currently range from 657 to 820 per month, depending on the age of the child. So much for masturbation. There you go. So there you go. And so what if, see, if your fortune cookie said that, easy money maker, foster kids to collect welfare, yeah. more money, more kids. Boom. See, smart idea. Or what I like to call Hando from a rando. Yeah, why well, your left hand really has different names. Uh, <laughs> this one says, "Call Jerry. He has a hookup for PS 5s There you go. What if so you don't maybe, even know a Jerry? Then you're out of luck. No PS Five. Oh my god, that's right probably there. the worst. 
No, marriage is hard, but drinking is easy. Boom. Mm. Another one. How about, um, yeah, I don't know if I have another one. Uh, the last one I wrote down okay. here was stand up and yell, free hugs, $5 tugs. There you go. Free hugs, $5 tugs. $5 tugs. Yep. I think it'd be better if the fortune said that, if they told you what to say, you know? So like, the, so if it said, hey, next person you meet, you know, say this, and then you hand them the fortune. And they're like, oh, I get it now. That's funny. Right? Mm. See? See? Dennis? Smile a and the world smiles with you. That's, That's a good horrible. one. That's a crappy one. That sounds like a right standard freaking fortune. Dennis, give me a fortune you'd want to get in a cookie. He's thinking. Um, He's thinking. Have, have you heard about those ones where you're going to be traveling or something in a distant place or whatever. wait that's just a normal fortune <laughs> that's that's the one you, know, get those, you open those up are, like those ones you like, those like ones? your fortune cookie to say but it seems like obvious like it's very generic like obviously it's it it sort of applies to everybody i just i don't know my my fortune would i'd love to say find the local dojo and show them who's boss mm, that's yeah. what i would see that's what Cobra I'm Kai about. till I die. Cobra Kai till I die. Uh, matter of fact, Cobra uh, Kai drops January season three. Netflix. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so there's that. Dennis probably wants something that just says Bitcoin twenty four thousand. <laughs> uh huh. Tight butts drive me nuts. How about that? That's a good one yeah, too. Sort of, sort of missed out on it when it dropped to like seventeen. Almost kind of. <laughs> Hey, the coin. All right. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> All right. This segment we'll take, brought to you by Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin. Oh, we'll take a break. There goes some fortune cookies. If you have any good fortune cookie ideas, uh, write them down in the oh. comment section on our Facebook mm. page or um, wherever you can find uh, that guy, Jerry. If you're a virgin, smile. That's what? A good one. What's a fortune? One. No. If, you are going to get lucky tonight. Man, yours are generic. Yours are really, ge- like, they're really bad. If you think you feel good, wait till you feel me. Oh, okay, that's a better one. A better one. A good one. Oh, are you reading these off? Did you go to a pay? You are cheating. You are. You got to make these up. Don't worry. This is, this is a good one, okay? Don't worry. AIDS has a longer life expectancy than it did in the 80s. Bam, right there. <laughs> There you go. We'll take. We'll be right back after this on uh, Nerds Talk in the podcast. Short break. Welcome back to Nerds Talk in the podcast. Hope everyone's having a good time. We're here with Carlos and Dennis, and I'm Lafayette. And um, did you guys know the game Cyberpunk 2? I think it's what it was it called 2077, 2377? Something. 20, is it 2077? I believe 2077. Anyway, it's so bad on PS4 and Xbox, the you know, the last gen, everybody gets a free refund. Are you serious? I, I guess refunds are free. Don't charge you for a refund. That'd be stupid. Do they get to keep the game and get the money back? Yes. Oh. Because the game is so bad. It only runs at like 10 frames per second. Can you imagine that? Oh, for the, the la- earlier machines. For okay. like the very yeah, yeah, first yeah, yeah. versions. Yeah, yeah. And it's, oh yeah. man, they are bad. Um, yeah, pretty bad. But uh, if you do own that game on a last gen system, you should be getting a refund and you sh- and you get to keep the game still so that's a great deal i wish i did that with all games yeah if the game awesome. sucks give them money back you can keep the game like they do on ebay if you get something that's not very good some of them let you keep but it. how do you not determine- eBay, but amazon <clears throat> how do you determine the game sucks because this game doesn't it's yeah well this game doesn't suck itself it's just it just runs like shit on the systems mm. You know what I mean? So it's not that it sucks. It just runs like shit. You're talking about PS4 and Xbox. Xbox the, One. The the first ones. Not the not the PS4 Pro or the Xbox One X, but the the very first ones. Hey, you guys work out every day, right? You guys are big muscle dudes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Rough. I mean, not according to the YouTube page. But um, I barely fit in my shirt. Well, that's not muscles. 
Um, ah. But uh, once you guys your shirt now, Carlos, you guys, <laughs> <laughs> you guys go ahead and give me some. Uh, give me, give me, give the people some workout. Uh, I don't know tips or what they should do before they work out or what kind of food they should be eating or any type of diet you guys are doing. Do you guys just, I don't know. What do you guys do when you work out? I mean, basically you guys fill some damn time. I got two minutes to myself. I pray, man. I pray that I don't get crushed. So before, before I work out, I have to, I have to pray. Oh, you pray. You pray to the man above that you don't get crushed. Nice. Pray to the gym gods to get more muscles. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So this segment has gone completely flat. I tried to get more words out of these two, and I got somebody praise to God, and then the other guy had nothing to say. He doesn't work out. He doesn't. I got nothing anything. to say about working out. If you're gonna work out, not everybody sticks to it. I mean, if you're gonna diet, you have to dedicate yourself to the diet. Currently, I'm uh, intermittent fasting. It took me a while to actually get on it, but well, once I, what is once I passed that week, what does it? What is intermittent fasting for you? I explain it to people. Well, what is it? There's a sir, there's a only one window, basically a window of opportunity to eat, and that's for me. It's from one o'clock to seven thirty, one one p.m. to seven thirty p.m. So I don't eat any time after seven thirty, and I don't eat any time before one p.m. So you cannot day. eat any more today. That's right. And just I to wow. clarify, just to clarify though, that that's uh, just what I fasting. Do, fasting is not a it's not a diet. It's more like a like a meal timing. So basically, you're shortening the amount of time that you eat, so that um, basically you just eat less. I mean, that's kind of the whole point. Yes, I have, this is, here's a good one for you about that intermediate fasting and everything. So, uh, what time do you typically eat your first meal? One o'clock. How long does it take you? You think to eat mm, your first meal? Ten to fifteen minutes. Okay. When's the next time you eat your next meal? Somewhere between three and five. And how long does that take for you to eat your next meal? 10, 15 minutes. And then your last meal is at what time? If I eat again, it will, it will be about 6.37. And it'll take you about 10 or 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes. So let's just say through the whole day, you only eat 30 minutes through your whole entire day. And you're probably up for at least 16 hours, right? Right. So there's 15 and a half hours that you're not eating anything. Mm -hmm. So what if you were just to eat one time a bigger meal? It takes you about 30 minutes to eat. Could you could you do that? Could you actually Jeez. think you? Some I don't people think so. do that, but some people do can. that. Some people do that. Well, but yeah, I've, but if I've you seen, don't spread seen, your meal out within several hours, you're really gonna it, be it, hungry. Like it, it's more hungry. like, yeah, it's kind of like a more like a preference. Um, I've I've heard people who does you know twenty, twenty four, you know they would fast for twenty and then you know, they would eat for the last four or. You know, Oh, I mean, it's doable. Money. I mean, oh, some go. people do it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah you're okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just, I always thought about that because when I was doing it, I was doing it from like 11 to 7, right? I, oh, I'm not going to eat after 7. Or I'm not going to eat before 11. And then I thought about it. Well, my 11 o'clock is just a coffee. It's not even food. It's just that's what time I'm going to get my coffee because that's kind of my well, start. You're not breaking your fast then, according to, I guess, the rules. You can yeah, have yeah, a coffee, yeah. a black coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, and then, you know, then maybe at three o'clock, I'd eat something and it may be small. Then at six o'clock, I'd eat something bigger. It'd like kind of build up, right? So meat, small, medium, big or large in food size. Then I thought about it. I'm only eating for about 20 minutes a day. Why don't I just eat once? What the hell? I, whatever the hell I want to eat one time for those 20 minutes. And then at time at the perfect time, say like four o'clock, I'm like, okay, that's kind of my midpoint of the whole entire day. I'll just eat at four o'clock. And if I want to eat anything else, I'm going to have to just fight that off and just drink a bunch of water or just drink something. It doesn't matter what it is. You know, not something high in sugar, but I mean, for me, it's primarily water. But do you understand? Like, is that like to me, like, it's almost I mean, like, do you, do you eat? Because yeah, that's, that's totally out. fine. The most, the most important thing is basically you you have your set calories you know you're eating yeah, yeah. you don't, you don't yeah, eat yeah, beyond yeah. that daily caloric i mean you, calor, yeah. caloric um limit um it's all that really matters really i mean you can cram it into one or you can spread it out whatever you know works best for you yeah and you're right about that it's just my thing is do you break up the meals to curve your hunger all day 
Yes. Or right. And that's the idea. Or do you feel like I can make it all the way till this time and I'm going to eat my ass off, fill myself up basically with whatever, 1200 calories. So you're trying to fast like 23 and a half hours. That's, that's too much. Well, I don't include sleep, but yes. So it would be, it's, it's no different. You're still fasting 15 and a half hours yourself. You're just taking those 10 minute eat periods. You know what I mean? It's well, right, but difference. I don't think you're going to have, you'll give yourself enough energy to last. You know, you don't have enough intake to give yourself energy or nutrition to last. You know what I'm saying? No, I get it. Crash super fast. But what if I pray to the gym god? Then not not get crushed. You may have a chance. All right, there we go. But the problem with the problem with not only dieting but working out is that you have to get past the first two weeks. Once you get past the first two weeks, then it's easier. It becomes routine after that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's well, funny then. because I'm trying to like not fast, but I can't help it because it I'm so used to to doing it that even though I try like I put in a day that I'm gonna eat like a regular, you know, like regularly, I still tend to fast. And I guess it's just kinda like a habit at this point, you know. All right. Well, there we go. There is uh hold on, I got a cat on my lap. You guys don't you guys hate it when there's pussy on your lap? Ah. Ha, 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 ha. Anyway, so let's take a break right here. This is Nurse Talking the Podcast. That was your gym workout with the two gym guys. They work out every day together and um they didn't really give you much if anything. So I'll let you know about it. just do some jumping jacks, run around a little bit, do some sit-ups, maybe a couple push-ups here and there. Uh, if you want to do some squats, I mean you don't even need a gym to work out, really. So if you're just motivated, you could do it without workout. Without you can if you want to like basically just stay in the current shape you're in and maybe tone up a bit but there's no way you're going to gain strength without some weights you're involved. not going to gain strength but you lose weight you know you lose weight it depends well if sure you can, you can lose weight yeah. running you could run all day you yes, running weight. is the best workout i don't care if you can ride a bike running. all day and still eh, no lose no weight. bike riding is not like running no way it's it's not uh, i, I not worked equal. with a fellow who swore by it all he did was nope. ride a bike and this guy was lean nope. mean but he was probably already lean uh, if, well, and if possibly because he was a what do we call um, a speed skater as well. So I'm oh, sure. Oh yeah, yeah. Now think about that. A speed skater is more equivalent to somebody running. Yeah, but he didn't like running. He enjoyed bike riding. He yeah, had like this big he, souped up ten speed. He was already in shape. That doesn't count. I'm telling you, if you want to lose weight, running is your best bet. If you want to stay in shape, running is your best bet. Until your knees say f off, you can't do it anymore, and that's me. All right, let's take a break. Well, Here that's a pro- that's, that's my problem with <laughs> running. Is I think walking is a better thing if you can do for an hour a day i think that's i think that's better because you're not you're saving your knees you're saving your leg. Huh? the big the difference between those two is <clears throat> walking is great i can walk 10 miles a day whatever but you don't get the exercise you do from running because you're not exerting as much energy and as much right, force right. that's and the get, problem yeah, right your heart rate's not so good. it's more for the, the cardio part of it yeah than, if you just want to yeah. get out to get activity walk <laughs> if you want to get exercise run and if you don't give a shit Go to the castle and get yourself some BK. All right. That's me. I love I love Whoppers. Let's go throw it out there. Love Whoppers. What's your favorite hamburger? Go before we take a break. Let's go. What's your favorite fast food hamburger or any hamburger? Go. Red Robin. Let's go. Red Robin. Okay, Dennis? Mm-hmm. The whiskey. Yeah, Red, Ro- oh. Red Robin is good. I like Red Robin. We got two Red Robins on the board with the whiskey something no, or other. It's the... Um... Whiskey high maintenance, the no, no, no. extra cheese it's large. The, not the, the whiskey river, but the uh, the uh, uh, onion, Southern onion Charm. Seven Southern, Southern Charm. I knew that one too. Have yes. you guys had um, Shake Shack? I have. Ooh. I have one near me. Shake Shack. A what? Carlos has had Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Took him there. Shake Shack. I took him right. to Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Okay. One of the worst burgers I've ever had in my life. Really? White Shake Castle. Shack. Oh, White Castle. Uh, you know why? It's because just they sliders steam filled the with onions. Meat. It's they steam the meat. It's garbage. Who steams meat? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go with uh, the classic, and that's Burger King, the Whopper. I just love the Whopper, no matter mm-hmm. what. just love it. Mm-hmm. I thought good. you were going to say In-N-Out. <laughs> I like In-N-Out. It's I'm good. I like to dig In-N-Out. I dig In-N-Out. Um, yeah. It's good burger, but I still mm-hmm. enjoy the Whopper more. They raise their and prices by like a buck. And if I was 12, I would have told mm-hmm. you it was a Big Mac. So, But I haven't had a McDonald's in forever. Anyway, let's take a break right here on Nerds Talking the Podcast. We'll be right back after the short intermission. Welcome 
Welcome back to Nerds Talking the Podcast. We are a week away from good old Christmas time. And we tried to talk about Christmas movies last time. Hey, you know, I saw somebody post. Did you guys know is Lethal Weapon a Christmas movie? Oh. It is not. I watched, Sorry. We've I been watched through these that rules. Die Hard movie, man. It's that's not Wait, a Christmas you movie. saw Die Hard? When was this? No, I watched it again. I okay, watched it again. Okay, okay. It's been a while since I you oh. know. And it's not a Christmas movie, right? It really isn't. I Hell was just no. trying to side on the side Hell of the no. people that say it is. It's not. The a only, you think the only it Christmas is. movie, the only Christmas thing about that movie is in the end when they start playing that Christmas song. That's, that's about it. it. That's it. Yeah, that's okay. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so true. And it happened during a Christmas party. Oh, God damn it. This guy again. I'm not saying that makes it a Christmas movie. I'm just saying that's the Elon only Musk. real Christmas no thing in it. it. Yeah. No so. Oh, but me. apparently it's a Christmas movie based on the poll that they sent out to I people. saw that. Yeah, yeah I saw just that. a bunch of idiots. What what I saw that. Um, um, yeah. If anybody can actually leave us a message, you can leave voice messages for our show if you'd like. And tell us why Die Hard is a Christmas movie. You say a voice message? Yeah. How? Just go to Anchor FM, click on the button, leave a voice uh, message. Uh, 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 if that's if they're using Anchor message. FM, they could be listening yeah. to many, many different ways. They could. We're on several platforms. Just and recently we can picked up too. by Our Heart Radio. We can play it too on the next on the episode. That is true. We could play it if somebody was to send a message in and then tell Carlos off about Die Hard. Yeah. I'd Just love tell it. him off. Bring it on. Go ahead. Tell him. Yeah. Tell him off. I mean, uh, but yeah, I mean, so Christmas is a week away and... Um, you know what, what I the... saw recently? Uh-oh. What I hate to break, it, break into your little Christmas rant. Shit. Here comes uh, comes anyway, comes I was watching the, um, what's that? Um, the movies that made us, the Christmas uh, deal. And they had uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And made me think of uh, Tim Burton. Made me think of Tim Burton's um, Batman from 1989. So if I would shut up, I can finish. Go ahead. I'm just doing background music. Yeah. And uh, anyway, uh, what, so I decided to watch Batman again. Tim the original Burton. Batman. Hold and on. Man. Before you continue, Dennis, have you seen the original Batman? The 1989. Like 89 or whatever. Yep. Have you seen yeah. that one before? All right. Good. Okay. Go ahead. Continue. Anyway, uh, when it first came out, I was excited for it because, you know, as a kid, I'm like, oh, cool. They're bringing one of my favorite characters to the big screen. Finally, Batman. So I went to go see it. And when I saw it, I'm like, did I really think that was good? Maybe because it was Batman. I finally brought it to the big screen, Batman. But when I watched it the other night, man, that is a horrible movie. That movie is just trash. And the directing is trash. Tim Burton is definitely overrated. Man, it was just I don't know about overrated. I don't know about overrated. I don't know the way they overrated. were But the way they were talking him up, you know, through that um uh not maybe before Christmas deal. The way they were talking him up and then he did Batman and he was he didn't even direct Nightmare Before Christmas. He was working on Batman 2, I believe. He was. That's what got him Nightmare Before Christmas was the Batman movie. So who moved, got him who moved the dolls? Who who was the one was he the one moving the dolls? No, he wasn't even there. He, he wasn't there at all. Once. Yeah, Maybe one twice. time he showed up. No, it was once for the ending. We kicked yes, a hole yes. in the wall or something. But at the Batman movie, it's funny because it came out in 1989. Uh, I was 10 years old. I remember watching that movie, walking out, and everybody's like, that was amazing. And I love Batman. I was like, oh, this is great. I hated that movie. Never liked it. Never liked it at all. Just thought it was crap. So even, and when I watch it now, if it's on TV, I can't watch it. It's garbage. No, Ooh, I think that made for, that time, two, for that time period, I think it was a great movie. <laughs> Because, mm. you know, like the type of action that they had, you know, it kind of like came out like around the the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? Like, Oh, that's a much better movie, though. Right. But I mean, it has that sort of like the dark theme. And well, I think the problem with Batman is that it takes place in a pseudo 50s 50, feel yeah. type of, you know, and it's stupid. And uh, I don't know. Let's, I want, you know what? You brought up Tim Burton. We're going to run through some Tim Burton movies. You tell me if you like them or not. Here we go. Tim Burton time, everyone. Okay, here we go. Stop right there. There's only two of them that I like. Uh, let me, I'm going to go through them. All I'm right. going to go through them. Here we go. Here we go, everyone. Dennis, you say if you like the movie or not also. Here we go. Yeah, go ahead. Edward Scissorhands. I like it. Nope. I like it too. It's a good one. Okay. Alice in Wonderland. I like it. I yeah, like I like that one. All right. Big Fish. 
That's a good movie. That's a you good movie. You didn't like, yeah, That's you awesome like movie. Big Fish? Wow, That's Big an Fish awesome is movie. really good. Beetlejuice. Yes. Mm-hmm. All yep. right. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The new, yeah, the new one. Yeah, I actually right. like that much right. better than the original one. Yeah. Uh, have you guys seen Big Eyes? It's a yeah. good one. That was okay. I don't think I've seen that one. That's a good movie. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, that was decent. Have you guys seen Dark Shadows? That was trash. It nope. was okay. It was kind mm, of fun. Was it was kind of fun. How about uh, Sweeney Todd? I didn't see Sweeney Todd. It's okay. Sweeney Todd. That one, yeah, that one's okay. Um, oh, this one's bad, but let's ask you guys anyway. Planet of the Apes. That was Tim Burton. The one with Mark Wahlberg. Wal- yeah, yeah, Which Mark Wahlberg. Yes, Mark oh, the bad. latest one? That was bad. Is it the latest no, one? Oh, right? no, the really bad one. Okay, this one I did enjoy when it first came out. Sleepy Hollow. Yes, I like Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, I like that one. All right. And then, let's see, there's not too many more on this list. Oh, uh, Mars Attacks? Yep. Good. See? See how many of his movies you enjoy? <laughs> yeah. Well, see, I didn't realize he had done some of these. How about this one I really did enjoy when it came out? Ed Wood. I actually like this movie when it came out. Um, Ed Wood. It's a black and white movie. It. Yeah. I don't yeah, remember seen it. it. It stars it- Bill Lugosi, Bill Murray, um, Johnny Depp, uh, George Animal Steel. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. How about his very first movie? Yes. Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Yes. You see how many movies of his do you actually do like well, a the, lot? Well, the thing is, when you hear Tim Burton, right, you, you kind of you think about his standout movies. Dark, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, dark, you know, like, gloomy. peculiar, as I would I would say. Yeah, or I like it, whimsical. Yeah, like mm. I, I didn't like Dumbo. Dumbo was not good. That was his. Yeah, that was it. No, I haven't um, seen it. Mm, no interest. I like that one. And the, how about the one of uh, Miss Perig? Peregrine's Peculiar Children or something like that? Mm, no. It was okay. It wasn't that great. How about The Corpse Bride? Anybody? No. Anybody? <laughs> that was good. Uh, Frank and Weenie? Yep. It was good. <laughs> like it. Yeah. yeah. See, there's a lot of good movies. But yeah, I'll tell you what. Know. All right. We'll take a break. Come back for one final segment here on Nerds Talking Podcast. And uh, well, maybe we'll talk about what you guys want for Christmas. Maybe I'll get it for you guys. We'll never know. Right here on Nerds Talk of the Podcast. Welcome back to Nerds Talk in the Podcast. Uh, just a little short segment to finish here. Let you guys know, um, now that uh, Zack Snyder has made the director's cut a thing, there was a director's cut of Godfather 3 that came out recently. Really? And if, you've seen the, if, you, if you guys seen the Godfather movies, part one is good. Part two was amazing. Truly, just a standalone could just be its own movie. Part three was a letdown. But I heard the director's cut fixes a lot of problems with it. And... Um, so you got yourself a director's cut now of that movie. And there's a director's cut coming out of Rocky, the original Rocky. Really? Yes. And then there's also a recut of Batman versus Superman coming out. The which one? Batman versus Superman. Oh, that's just put back in the uh, IMAX. IMAX uh, format. Format. And then, do you guys ever see the movie called Event Horizon? Yeah. I don't know if you guys it. seen that. It's kind of like a horror movie on a spaceship. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. The director now wants to do the director's cut. And he said because of Zack Snyder's Justice League, he feels like he should get his shot at the director's cut also. And that's Why? Zack Snyder totally set that president. And the problem with that is they asked Patty Jenkins, will there ever be a, a, a director's cut of Wonder Woman 84? She's like, no, everything I want in the movie is in the movie. Why would I do a director's cut of a movie when the way I put it together is exactly how I wanted it? Like, that's the problem is you're going to get all these directors going back to the vault and be like, I want to show you the real version that I made. You know, everybody has hindsight, right? Of course. Sure. Everyone has hindsight. Oh, I should have done it like but this. If I should have done this. Well, if it's a thing where the studio totally changed it, maybe they should have a chance. But if it's just, oh, I wish I would have added this or I wish I would have put that. then that's different. Then no, you don't get another shot. You had your shot. But if it's total studio interference, then, but they, 
would have had already, already shot it and the studio came in and edited everything out yeah exactly exactly do you guys know that aliens created the internet you guys aware of this that what that aliens created the internet aliens did aliens created the internet i thought it was the u.s government well here's the thing when roswell happened and the spaceship they got and all the technology they got from the so-called spaceship that technology helped them form the internet the military what do you think about mm. that huh wow dennis insights fascinating i don't fascinating. know fascinating fascinating if you guys have hbo max watch the movie Oh, of course, I don't know the name now. All of a sudden, oh, of course, Heaven's Heaven's Gate. Oh, the cult. You know oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, it, they, it's called the Cult of All Cults, and uh, I do want to watch that one. Heaven's Gate. It looks fantastic. I want to start a cult. Wait, where can you watch it? In Hulu or HBO Max? HBO, HBO Max. I don't have. And HBO Max is great. All this lot of good content. Jesus, you need HBO Max then. This is really good. You gotta get it. You know you the problem it. with HBO Max, um, and why they don't have as many subscribers as they should, is because they still have HBO. They need to get rid of HBO and just have one service. They are HBO Max. That's it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, the problem is, well, there's a difference though. So HBO, if you have HBO. Say you have it as your cable package. If you have it under an AT&T umbrella, like Spectrum, you get HBO Max for free. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, you got to pay extra for HBO Max. But HBO Max, you don't get with the HBO app or whatever you want to watch HBO. You don't get all the content HBO Max has. HBO Max has so much more content than HBO has. So there's a difference. You still you are getting a lot more out of HBO Max than you are just having HBO. Oh, anyway. no, no, I understand that, but I think it's really hurting them to have two separate platforms. They should have one platform. Well, you think about it too. They also have some shows that are still on Hulu, sharing, sharing, you know, because the contracts aren't expired yet. Overlap. Uh, the Peacock is going to get, you know, some shows from Netflix, such as The Office. Yeah. And Peacock mm -hmm. is $5 a month. But if you don't want to pay for it, the first two seasons of The Office will be free on Peacock. Mm hmm. So there you go on that. And final, as we leave, uh, yeah, well, what I got, does... I got one more thing. I got from Mr. Dennis. He's been pretty quiet tonight. Mr. So Dennis. Do your thing, and then I'll give Dennis a thing. Yeah, I'm going to go get a water. No, I need you to... You need to be in on this thing. Okay. So I go can't, grab your water. I can't. No, I can't. Take a quick can't. break. Just go. Just go. No. All Let's right. Go. Dennis, you ready? Pay attention, my friend. You might want to yeah. grab a piece of paper and a pencil. Oh, shit. All right. So, Dennis. Oh, do this. You ready? Dennis, you ready? Gotta do it. All right, let's do this. Okay, Dennis. Yep. If I had $3. Oh, okay. And my mom gave me $10. And then my dad gave me $30. And my aunt and uncle gave me $100. Wait, wait. Can you can you repeat again? Sure, right. sure. Three. I oh had my God. I had three dollars. Okay. My mom gave me ten dollars. Okay. My dad gave me thirty dollars. Mm -hmm. My aunt and uncle gave me a hundred, not each, mm -hmm. just a hundred total. Mm -hmm. And I had another seven dollars. How much did I have? <clears throat> how much did you have, or how much do you currently have? How much Which did I have? Did you have? Well, I mean, three dollars, right? Because that's before you got something from people. Okay, you actually had ten dollars <throat> because you got you had three, and then they all give you money. Then you realize you had seven more dollars. Well, that's just it. Oh, Dennis hit I it on the nose. Ten. When did you have it? When are you asking me this? And are you asking me because if we put it into the fiat scenario, go ahead and do your little scenario, the fiat, your little, your little. Uh, Hookers and blow, and then surprise birthday party scenario. Go ahead. Oh, I'm Harry Carey. Anyway, it's easy. Okay. You went out the night before with your buddies. You had a bunch of cash on you. And then you went out drinking, gambling, and all the good time. And you came home with $3. And your parents threw you a surprise birthday party. Your mom and dad gave you 40 bucks or some shit. 
your aunt and uncle gave you a hundred dollars. Somebody else gave you thirty dollars. OK, and then you reach in your back pocket and realize, oh, shit, I have another seven dollars right here. So you walked in with three. You left with more money, but then you realize you still had seven more dollars because you forgot to tip the hooker. So you had ten dollars when you walked in and you have more money now when you walked out the party. Does that make sense? So you no, had man, $10 you go, the whole time. No, you didn't because you didn't yes, know you, you did. had the seven. You didn't okay. know you had the seven. But that's just it. What word did you just use? Huh? You didn't know you had the seven. How much did you have before? They didn't say you before. They didn't say before. And yes, if you it is. No, Dennis. Yes. So if you put it in his perspective, oh but then God. let's add my perspective, shall oh, we? Oh, yeah. Perspective okay. So good. after a night of Fiat's hookers and blow, oh, he ends up at a surprise God. party was, with $3. It was, it was at the end of the party, this. after giving getting all the money from his aunts and uncles and his dad, yeah. that's an additional $140, right? Okay. And then he remembered he had so you have $7. 100 you have $143 now. Right. But then you remembered you had seven more. Or you didn't remember. You found it in your other pocket. Oh, okay. Another Bam. seven in my other pocket. There. So now you've left the party. Uh-huh. With $150. You have $150. Exactly. You have $150. You have. Okay. Yes. Got it. Well, so that's the thing. You started did... out with a... You have... You had so how much three. did I have? So, you know, I if said. it started as a 10... Because no, 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 it, no, 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 Dennis, yes. keep going. So he no, realized that he had going. 10 at some point, right? But the story began with it. He started with a three, three dollars. Yes. So it didn't really count. It's just kind of like part of the story. It's kind of like part of the story. At which right. point do you sit? So are you asking about before yeah, he realized before. that he it. had more? The writer of this after? riddle is using past tense incorrectly. Oh, he's not. Yes, he, he is. is not. He is using past tense incorrectly. <laughs> And the problem is the Fiat won't admit that it's wrong because it's he's not been told wrong. that it's right. How much did did you have? How much did you have when you left the party? Had How much did you have? Dollars. It didn't say when I left the party that but it the, didn't say when you got the riddle. But it didn't it, say before a, you got it's there. It's a either. riddle because it's tricking you to thinking that you have $150. No. How much did you have? Three dollars for all. No, you had seven because you failed to realize you already mm -hmm. had seven dollars on you. So you had but ten dollars. If you didn't realize you had it, then you never would have had it. OK, you know what? Yes, because no, if you subtracted the ten dollars from the money you received from your little party. You realize, oh, shit, I had seven extra dollars in my pocket. There you go. I had ten dollars. Bam. See, that makes sense. I guess it's more of a realized versus unrealized money. Because if you realize that you had only had three, and at some point, and there was unrealized ten seven dollars that's sitting somewhere, right? Yeah, you basically you had ten dollars. Yeah, yeah, and then you have more now because everybody gave you money, so it's ten dollars. That's it. It's ten dollars. This is this is nonsense. This whole this whole segment is turned into nonsense because somebody went on Facebook and you know was like, oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on oh who what's going on there? No, because Facebook. I asked somebody who has an English major the question. And who's this and person they named told me I want their name. That it's huh? I want their name. It's a professor from UC Davis. Oh professor you name me, Jamie Kind of the past tense is being used incorrectly. That's the idea. The idea is to trick people. That's but that's not idea. a trick. If you're using it incorrectly, it you're not is tricking a trick. people. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll explain to you how this works. So what I want to know is who who wrote the question. Uh, it's just it's just like a generic thing that goes around Facebook, you know. But let me explain to you real quick how this works. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. This is how the English language works. Okay. How the English you, language works. If you okay, go, go ahead. if you're in a bar and you tell a girl, "Hey, what's up? I got three dollars. I'll buy you a drink. Oh, I need seven more." But guess what? On top of that, I got a big ding dong. All right. And then she comes home with you and she goes, hey, remember that thing you told me? Oh, yeah. But my ding dong. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as big as I thought. That was a past tense. See, that was in the past that he meant that. But in the present, he doesn't have such a big ding dong, but he does have ten dollars. Oh, yeah. But you said he had a big ding dong. So he had three dollars. So there we go. There we go. I hope everybody enjoyed this episode of Nurse Talking. And we're going to definitely cover more Polish dicks next time. 
You forgot so to mention the um, uh, what's your Christmas uh, wish list? Christmas, 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 Christmas wish list. Are we going to talk about Christmas, that? Christmas. Yeah. yeah, real quick. What's everybody's Christmas wish list? Uh, Dennis, give me what you want this Christmas. Go. More Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, who's gonna God. get you more bitcoin though like who's gonna actually give it to you like, me. what if somebody exactly. gave you money. what if somebody gave you like the chocolate little coins that are wrapped in like the gold <laughs> and said Dennis, this is bitcoin his favorite these are his favorite yeah bitcoin but the thing is to get bitcoin you need to mine for it so who's gonna mine for you dennis who's the person you're gonna be like, like you Minecraft. stay home today and mine i'm, that gonna mine. I'm just gonna buy Minecraft. it for someone who mined it but then that's for not mining. a gift it's not a gift if you buy it yourself. Grand. So what do you want for Christmas? Uh, you guys can start first. Let me think about All me. right. Carlos, you go first. I want a new driver. Golf club. Just keep talking. My cat's messing around. Oh, what? Dennis, what do you want like, for Christmas? Like, like a women's driver? <laughs> nah. <laughs> like a cheap knockoff one? or No, man. I want a Cobra driver. Mm, I think I've 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 used I've played one before. Um, Do you want a Tesla? Is that your thing? You want a Tesla? Oh yeah, that's what I want. There you okay. go. Wait, so that's I just I left, and Carlos wants a brand new golf driver, and Dennis, Dennis wants, wants a Tesla. Tesla. The fifth price price gonna get it. So the fifth got to get a now. Tesla and a golf club. <laughs> and what does Lafayette want for Christmas? <laughs> Uh, I mean, that's a good question. I don't really have a, anything on my list. Probably, um, uh, I don't know, a smartwatch to help me uh, to keep track of golf stuff. I don't know. A, a golf watch or a smartwatch? No, no, a smartwatch. Just a standard smartwatch that can show me the distance of crap. I play too much golf these days. Oh. And um, that's pretty much it. I don't know. There's not much else I really want. So I don't want to tell you. But there's an app for that. You can do it on your phone. I know. I just, you know, it's just the idea of just getting a new watch. That's all. That's all. Dennis, what watch do you have right there? Apple Watch? It's a Fitbit. Um, oh, that's right. Versus you got the Fitbit. That's right. That's I, I, right. Yeah, it's, it's really a good watch. I really like yeah, it. Yeah, it's a nice looking watch. Yeah. Well, there you go. Carlos wants a, a driver. And Dennis wants a car. And someone to give him some Bitcoin. <laughs> And I just want a golf gadget on my wrist. That's pretty much it. Golf so. gadget on his wrist. That's all. So there you go, everyone. Uh, we'll come back next week with our Christmas episode. Oh, my God. It's going to be a extravaganza. Oh, our final episode of the year. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Wait, is it? No, it's not. It doesn't have to be. Well, of the year. It doesn't have to be. Well, it doesn't doesn't have to be. week after next oh, week. Oh, yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah. Oh, well, the 31st is the Christmas Eve. Yeah, yeah uh, 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 you know there's two the, more weeks in the year. Right? Eve, sorry, huh? What? Is it you stupid? No, you were, dummy. You were, you What's were the glasses? Mm. You wear glasses, but you look like a dummy. You look like a dummy. No, you, you dummy. Like dummy. Next you Friday dummy. would be the 25th. Dummy. Next dummy. Friday, our show comes out on Christmas, dummy. right? Dummy. So the following dummy. Friday, our <laughs> show would come out on January 1st. Well, but it's not our final New show year. of the year. It so is. Don't know Next that. week. Oh my God. We court it on Thursdays, people. Dabba mm. dabba dabba dabba. Hey, if you have three dollars, right, and you go into a party, and you guys are like, hey man, you want you want to touch my ding dong? <laughs> You're like, how much? It's gonna cost you ten dollars. Well, luckily I have seven more. Here's ten dollars, my friend. Okay, how much did you have before you touched my ding dong? Ten dollars. Correct. No, three dollars. <laughs> no, he three dollars and touch a ding dong. Three dollars. <laughs> he found the other seven. That's all. That's I the know. worst inflation ever. Seven uh, extra bucks to touch his ding dong. It's all about Polish dicks, my friend. Mm. All right, yeah, here it is. Nerds talk in the podcast. We'll catch you next week. This has Bye. been Wub, Dennis and Carlos. I love it. See you. Bye. Bye.